we found that the ants connect to themselves very, very, very well, more than we had thought. Um, and you can imagine you have 100 ants, which means 600 legs. 99% of those legs will be connected to a neighbor. So they're very, very good at making, maintaining this network. We thought they would be like grains of rice. So when you put grains of rice in a jar, they sort of just all stack, and it's, it's, and it's, it's quite random. But the ants actually form almost a quite regular network. Um, grains of rice will stack on, them, stack on themselves in parallel, but ants form T-junctions. They're really forming these very strong um, junctions in order to support the structure of the raft. Ants are opaque. You can't see through them. Um, just like the bones in your body, the only way you can figure out what's going on, you've got to basically go through a CT scanner. And so that's what we put the ants through. We can see basically where every single ant, just like where every bone in your body is oriented and how they're placed next to each other.